Hi there, I'm Bill Thompson III from Red Start Birding, and I'm here today with my colleague and optics expert, Ben Lisdis, to talk to you about binocular magnification and help you understand what it is so that you can get the most out of your birding. So one of the first things to really understand about binoculars is what those numbers mean. So you have an 8x42 or a 10x25, for instance, that first number, which is more often than not going to be an 8 or a 10, that's the binocular's magnification or power. But you can't necessarily look at a binocular and say, oh, that's an 8 or a 10. Size and appearance doesn't have anything to do with the binocular's magnification. What you can tell when you look at those numbers is an 8 power binocular is going to magnify things 8 times. That means they're 8 times larger than if you weren't using binoculars at all. And like with many things in life, with magnification, it's possible to have too much of a good thing. True. A lot of birders will think that the more power they have, the better they're going to be able to see. But actually, as you increase the power of binoculars, you can find that it makes this most trusted tool of birding a little bit more difficult to use. Let's see why. One important thing to understand about higher power binoculars is that with this added magnification, the binoculars' field of view will decrease. This means as we increase power, we won't have the ability to see as much to our left and right through the binocular, which can make it challenging to quickly find birds with your binoculars and then track them as they move about through habitat. Let's demonstrate. Here we are at zero magnification. This is how we would appear if you weren't using binoculars at all. Note that you can not only see Ben and myself, but you can also see the spoonbills off to the right. Now, let's increase the magnification to eight power. So now you're seeing us as if viewing through some eight power binoculars. Note that while you're getting closer views of Bill and myself making identification easier, you're not able to see the spoonbills on the right. That's because your field of view narrowed. Let's increase the magnification to 10 power and see what happens. So this is what things look like at 10 power. As you can see, the image is magnifying. You could probably even read the Birdwatcher's Digest logo on my jacket, but Ben and the spoonbills are gone from the view. At higher powered magnification, like 10x, the field of view is restricted, which is just one of the things that makes birding with a higher powered binocular slightly more challenging. So Bill, have you ever tried to look through your binoculars while walking? Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it makes birding pretty difficult. It makes it really difficult. <laughs> and that's because the magnification in your binoculars not only magnifying the image that you're seeing, it's also picking up on any movement in your upper body or your hands, and that degrades the quality of the image that's reaching your eyes. And that's why I say for a lot of bird watchers, I recommend these lower power binoculars, eight power binoculars over 10, because you're gonna have that ability of holding an eight power binocular steadier than a 10. 10s are still very usable, but certainly beyond 10 power, kind of a no-fly zone for birders. Definitely. It's one of those situations with magnification that more isn't always better. Right. So let's review what we've learned today about binocular magnification. The first number listed in a binocular size refers to the power. An 8 by 42 magnifies objects by eight times. More power doesn't always mean you'll get a better view. An increase of power likely means you'll be working with a narrower field of view. High-powered optics can also be more difficult to hold steady. So you might not want to use anything stronger than a 10 power binocular when you're birding. So we hope this video helps you understand a little bit more about how optics work and sets you on the path for better birding experiences. And to learn more about birding optics, gear, and other aspects of the birding lifestyle, please visit us at redstartbirding.com.